Sean Ray here with David Bay backstage at the Europa Pro Championships in Dallas, Texas. We just concluded the pre-judging where we got a whole lot going on here with Ed and Betty Parizo as the promoters. David, we kick things off with the physique division here in Dallas. Yeah, the women's physique division I thought was, was a pretty much complete opposite sides of the coin. It seemed like you had some of the women who came over from the bodybuilding division and some of the women who were just too small. So it was an interesting mix. I think you and I both agreed that Sabrina Taylor, in my opinion, was probably the best in terms of what this division is supposed to be. Now, Juliana came in, uh, big as she usually is, she did get put in the middle, so and she stayed there. So uh, we can assume that she's probably the winner. I don't want to assume that anyways, because I mean, I still think she looks like she's a little heavy, especially in the legs. Right. She looked great, but I thought Sabrina had the, the right combination of the two. Yeah, I did too. You know, Sabrina wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't quite as tight as some of the girls in their lower body, but you know, head to toe, to me, Sabrina is, is, is she was she was perfect as far as this division goes. So her conditioning was good enough to where it, it was still very impressive, and you didn't look at it and say she needed to make improvements. Um, but she wasn't too conditioned where you, you also said, hey, you know, I mean, there was a couple girls who they hit their rear double by set poses, their delts were all striated, and, and, and it, it, was too much. it was just too much for that division. A million men physique. I was surprised at how many men physique guys showed up. Yeah, the men's physique uh, division, there was a couple of guys that came out. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not the best with names in the men's physique division. I think we're all still kind of familiarizing ourselves. And with the amount of guys in men's physique that are turning pro, it's hard to kind of keep up. Um, but there was a couple guys that really impressed me that I hadn't seen before. Uh, one of the guys you'll see in the top five, if probably the top three, uh, Dennis Gusev, who didn't get a lot of love in Pittsburgh last week. Your top two, two of the guys that we saw at the top uh, two in Orlando, uh, Jason Poston and Michael Anderson, look for them to be one and two uh, with, uh, with Dennis Gusev, uh, probably in third place. Uh, surprising, uh, John Nguyen, who I believe won this show last year, I think he dropped like the fourth or fifth call out. So I don't know if it was a case of, you know, last year's lineup was just a little bit weaker. Um, but it, it was interesting to see him drop that far. Uh, Jason, a lot of bodies on this team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, your winner is probably going to be Jason Post. And he's, you know, in my opinion, he's as close to perfect for this division as it gets. Um, I liked him a little bit more than Mark Anthony in Pittsburgh. Uh, I think uh, the only critique that Jason's getting right now is he might be getting a little bit too big. And that was the discussion in Pittsburgh last weekend with Mark Anthony is that the judges are trying to set a precedent that they don't want the men's physique guys getting too big. And I think Jason's borderline right now. But for me, he, uh, you know, he's, he's exemplary for what this division is supposed to be about. Right. Well, we had a lot of bikini girls and <laughs> who knows what direction that's going to go. But right now it looks like they've got the, the last call out looked to be the first call out. Yeah, the bikini, you know, and I, I got to go back. You guys are. We'll get to it. You know why? Because they got to come back for the finals tomorrow. Uh, but we did have a bodybuilding competition that took place today. Right. We got the MC over here, Bob Chicarillo, going to come bring him in. But the 212, I was really surprised that Abbas Balto, Bab, Balto Abbasmore dropped down yeah. in this category, and I thought, wow, he's got to be the winner. And then it looked like that's not going to happen. Uh, you know, when he was standing up there by himself, and, and there was a guy who was on the flip side, I believe Thomas something from Italy, Bengali. Thomas Bengali, he got up there and by himself, you know, I had some made some comments, hey, this guy's too small for this, you know, even this division. When he stood next to some of the guys, he looked a lot bigger. Um, you know, Baito's legs were just absolutely out of this world, and I don't care whether you're talking the 212 or the open the division. Class. Yeah, they, they're absolutely incredible. The, the biggest knock against him is he just looked like after his free posing round, he gave up. I mean, he got on stage. You know, they were everybody standing in their relaxed poses, and he's just kind of hanging out. They were going through their mandatories, and you know, and, and Guy Sister Nino and some of the other guys that were in that top call out were really getting after it, and he just kind of looked like he was on a, a Sunday afternoon stroll on the stage, and and it and it shows in in the placings. Do I still think that he should have been in that top two or top three? Yes, I think just from his muscularity and his conditioning, his upper back wasn't quite as tight as some of the other guys when he turned around and hit his rear double bicep, but. On on a, on a mass, and just from how big he was, uh, I, I would have liked to have seen him in the top three. doesn't look like he'll be there. It'll be interesting where he's at. And Boya Edwards and Guy Cistanino looked like they were the ones. I'm going to bring in Bob in this thing because, Bob, you were at the microphone. Uh, David Bay and I were doing the play-by-play. -play. How did you see the 212 come panning out? Because towards the end there, it looked like they sent Boya Edwards and Boy Guy Cistanino back. It was a, uh, Guy Cistanino. Uh, yeah, both those guys got sent back. Um, I was kind of interested to see how it was going to unfold. Uh, Baito Abispor, like you mentioned, um, you know, much talked about dropping down to the 212, ton of muscle. Um, 
he looked good yesterday, and actually thought he looked good here today. Shows, things, shows today. Didn't get a lot of love from the judges, though. They kind of had him out on the end. Let's get to the main event, man. We had the men's open bodybuilding. Branch Warren coming back here to compete. The last time he competed here was ages ago, and he won. And now he's back, and he's got the hugest following out there. What did you make of Branch? Branch looked great, man. I tell you, you know, Branch is uh, the, the most dangerous branch is always a pissed off branch. Pissed. Yeah, and he is not in a good mood in terms of his career where it is this year, where he's placed. Uh, and he hasn't complained openly at all about, like, his placing. Uh, his main complaint is with himself. And he's like, look, it, I didn't bring it. I didn't come in the way I wanted to come in. And because of that, here's where I am. I need to kind of get back to homework. I need to go back to old school and do what I know works for me. And that's what he did, Sean. He came in here. It's probably the best branch we've seen in a while now. Uh, but, you know, he brought his trademark conditioning and that gnarly muscle and all that kind of stuff, and it paid off. He's going to win this show. And the old adage is you're only as good as the guys you stand next to. Now, he's standing next to his old training partner, 43-year-old Johnny Jackson, who actually looks about as good as Johnny Jackson's ever looked. The legs are a little bit slight. But upper body is still world class. Well, Johnny was having a few problems with you know throwing up and then that type of stuff just prior to coming out. So he, I think he got some bad fish or something that kind of he said it just didn't sit well with him. But after he threw up, he says he felt much better. So probably a food probably a food thing. You know, not not so much it was an issue past that. Uh, but it didn't really seem to affect his, his uh, conditioning on stage. That said. Uh, Branch needed this. Well, I'm going to forecast he's going to win, but obviously he seems to be in the lead right now. He needs a win. Branch Warren is old school to a fault, bro. He does not want to go. He would not go in the Olympia by points. I can guarantee that. Even if even if that would give him an Olympia qualification, he wanted the win to say, look, if I can't win a show, then I ain't good enough to step on the Olympia stage. And he also needed this for his confidence. And his confidence has taken a big hit this year. And he finally is going to get some of that back tomorrow night, obviously, with the finals. Um, Johnny Jackson came to play, battle of the training partners, uh, still bringing it you know, into his 40s, but I think he's going to come up a little bit short here. Also ran into a big buzzsaw named Fuad Abiyad out there. Man, that was the best Fuad I've ever seen, actually. Fuad looked great, man. We haven't seen him in about a year out on the stage. Um, and we've seen Fuad come in great, and we've seen it come in off. Uh, this was a very good Fuad here. Uh, streamlined, no problems with the stomach, nice and flat, big wide shoulders, uh, thighs look great. He really, you know, there's not a whole lot to critique there. He just, you know, it's just going to be depending on what the judge is going to go with. Um, I don't think he's got enough muscle to kind of hang with Branch in this case. And plus, you know, we're in Branch's backyard. He kind of brought what the judges wanted to see from Branch Warren. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to go Branch, Fuad, and probably Johnny in third. All right, the voice of professional bodybuilding, Bob Chick, has spoken. I'm going to wrap it up with David Bay. Dave, step back up in here, my man, Big Dave. I want to get you, give you the final word. Bob's going to be rocking the mic tonight or tomorrow night at the finals, which is going to be taking place in the afternoon for the pros. But he's called it as a Branch Warren walk away. I don't want to say walk away, but as a Branch Warren victory once again. Uh, you know, we, we talked a little bit in the women's physique department about apples and oranges. I think it comes down to apples and oranges in the men's open. And I think a lot of the guys on the boards are going to be talking about a Fuad versus Branch. Branch, is, as Bob said, Branch looks really good. And, and you don't always see it in video and pictures. But when you're sitting behind the judge, table and branch walks out i mean his quads are so grainy i mean it is it is just nuts and yeah he doesn't have the prettiest physique um but the one thing branch has been able to do there's still some discrepancy in the size of his quads it's not as bad as it used to be he had a back issue his his back issue it, you know when he's hitting his lat spread and his rear double bicep there doesn't seem to be that discrepancy that they're used to so branch was able to bring up some injuries uh, all that said fuad tiny waist a taller guy really good sweep on his quad so he's got more of a, a classic physique and, and, and in the past Fuad had been criticized about having a bigger waist definitely not the case today and, and Fuad's conditioning as you guys had discussed was absolutely off the charts he turned around his hamstrings and and, and I know I'm gonna talk about it his glutes I mean everything was just I mean he was shredded I he's, he's arguably the most improved pro on this stage but all these questions are going to be answered 24 hours from now as all the men come back here tomorrow afternoon here at the Dallas Fort Worth Center to put it on the line for the next Europa Championship and a qualification to the Mr. Olympia because none of these guys are qualified that's the bigger issue at stake but the winner will also automatically be chosen to go as an invitation to the 2015 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Lots at stake tomorrow night. We'll come back here with our live play-by-play -play action and our wrap-up videos. For David Bay, Bob Chick, I'm Sean Ray, MusculDevelopment.com.